I read an article early on how slowly and more surely we're becoming a society dependent upon technology to the point that we're going to become societal mutes. That we're going to become awkward shells of our former selves. Could you agree with that based on what you've seen in the Google Glasses? Um, not... Well, obviously not immediately. It's not going to be like the Google Glasses come out and all of a sudden nobody talks anymore. It could happen. Like, people say that, like, Wally, that everyone's going to be fat and around the chairs. Mm -hmm. Like, who says we have to be a society that talks through our throats? I mean, we've seen in pop culture before societies that only speak through their through their minds, their brains. So we'll have eye mind. And maybe in a way, yeah. You start off with something like the Google Glasses, where mm -hmm. you can see very basic things in front of your eye on a on a on a see-through glass screen. Nobody else can see what you're looking at. But then you get to well, you can then build that onto your eye through a contact lens or something. It could where, be badass Robo cops. Basically, it's just I don't know. It's a see, it's an evolution. He, he, of here's what I want to get at about it, though. Regardless of how we choose to communicate with each other, will we communicate with each other? I don't know if you've noticed this the last time we were in Starbucks or the last time we were with a lot of friends, but we rely on our cell phones a scary amount. The next time you're just sitting in a coffee shop, just look around and you'll see groups of people not talking to each other. They'll have they have their phone out. Yeah, we've definitely become a society like that. Yeah, have you ever done that? You just you just didn't know what to say and you just picked up your phone and went on Facebook. You weren't even looking for anything. You just you just don't know what to say, and this is a little this is a little minute killer for you. The, fu the funny thing is, you're saying that, and I'm not, I'm not sure how to check my Facebook. Even on our phones, we're still talking with each other. We aren't talking face to face, but you use Facebook as, as the example, and we're, t we're talking. We might become a less personable society, we might become a society that doesn't talk face to face, but we're still interacting with each other, we're still playing we're games just, together. Do, with, I think um, what this guy's missing is that. Humans aren't a species that are constantly interacting. Like, you walk down a city street and I don't talk to anyone. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm done. No such thing as overthinking on this site. Yeah. But... It's YouTube. Well, see, I like to play a game in Walmart called, called the eye contact game. As you're walking down in Walmart, just give people nice smiles. People Even... go out of their way yeah. to look at you. But um, whether or not these Google Glasses get created, we're going to end up like that. Mm -hmm. Now, picture this. The year's yeah. 1849. You're in New York. 1849? You 1849. Okay, I want to make sure you're going to the past. Yeah. You're in 1849. You're walking down New York. You smile at someone. Mm -hmm. That's not alien. That's not unorthodox. That's just, oh, he's smiling. But, like, you do that now, people think you're fucking weird. Yeah. We started off as, as a solo race, but we've come and we've become a social race. You look at how many, how much people interact, even people that don't know each other. I can go, I, mean, I can go to a party. I could know not a single person there, and you can have a good time, and you can, and you can yeah, have a I good time and make a whole bunch of new friends. And I feel like that's still going to exist. Keep saying that we're you're a solo, we're humans, we're a solar race, and yes, and we keep throwing out words like adaption and evolution. But um, the fact that we were a solar race, we started out not having any interaction. Interaction led to the survival of humanity. Yes. People banded together and and fucked. Well, I'm saying, and well, no, I'm, we, not and saying now, we, we I'm not saying race. that. I, I'm not saying <laughs> that. This is a point I like to bring up after you say this. Sex is always a viable thing to bring up. Process of his day. He wakes up and he looks for a bookstore. And he goes and he buys ukulele in a day. So uh, when he's at the bookstore, he goes, oh, I can't find the music section for the books. Um, and then he pulls it up on his Google Glasses to find where the music section is. Because God forbid he ask another human being where the fucking music section is. It's, it's, it's less work. That's what appeals to people. The Google Glasses appeals to me one reason only. Go for it. And that is so I can get a fucking eyepiece like Garrus from Mass Effect. Oh yeah, or... we can't disagree. It's cool. It's fucking cool. It's fucking cool. But this is this is a device almost almost handcrafted well, for the socially awkward penguin. Well, I would like to see a game that goes in first person and like you look at things and then like information text pops up about the things that you're looking at. Like smart glass. Yeah. You go into a museum, you go into the Natural History Museum and you download this program and you literally look at an exhibit and it tells you all the information about it. That would be cool. You could look at look at an object far away and it would tell you like how far away that object is and how, uh, how long it will take you to get to that object and speed at which you travel. Like I think that would be cool. And 
I mean, craft like engineers can use that. For yeah, instance. it could evolve into something that okay. then helps a blind man to see. Transhumanism, or, or it could evolve into something to help deaf people hear. Okay. Human so augmentation. Uh, yes, I love that. Going lo- full Deus Ex. I love that debate. I love that whole genre. Would but but we, we start saying. relying on these too much to the point that we can't help ourselves? That's right. A lot of people are socially awkward penguins, or just bad luck Ryan's when it comes to talking. This is mean night. Sometimes they just can't get the shit right when they want to talk, right? Someone comes out with a fancy new app for the Google Glasses. It tells you what it's to say. It's called Walkie Talk. It, it, it remembers, it, it listens to your conversation, and maybe it'll give you a little point. Like, hey, here's a little hot topic you two can talk about. It's not controversial at all. And he says, oh yeah, good conversation starter. They start updating it so you can have responses. And before you know it, she's using Google Glasses too, because she doesn't know what to say anymore, because you have all the hot topics. Well, you go back and forth, and I now th- your Google Glasses are talking for you. I have enough confidence in the species be able to figure out how to adapt with these Google Glasses and how to stop ourselves and still have interaction with people. Uh, he brings up some ex- extremely valid points, don't get me wrong, and I'm not trying to bash him. He's over-exaggerating? He's definitely over-exaggerating. He's looking at the negatives rather he's, than the positives. He's making mountains out of molehills. Okay. You think you think he's uh, seeing the world more as a Bioshock rather than a utopia? Exactly. Okay. Well then, uh... Let's get the final lowdown here. Good, bad, and overall. What do you think is good about the Google Glasses? What do you think is bad about the Google Glasses? And overall, is this a positive or negative for society? Uh, and a simple, like, uh, just just give it a little bit of a lowdown. You got goods. Yeah. The goods are that it can evolve to be something great, like the um, the the cure for quote unquote blindness. Uh, it can evolve into something that can help you drive. It can evolve into something that can help you just just with general life. You got the bads. You can corrupt human interaction. You can become distracted by your thing. Overall, I think the Google Glasses are a great technological innovation. I see them doing a lot of good things in the future. I see a lot of good applications that it can be used for. And I believe that overall, it will push our technology to a new level that we haven't had yet. And that uh, it should help us. And one of Okay, Callum, good, bad, and personal overview. Goods, it can improve the quality of human life. The only really bad thing I can see is the human interaction problem that we've spent this entire session talking about. Mm-hmm. Overall, I like it. I think it's cool. I want to look like Garrus. Um, I've, I've, <laughs> I've brought up so much Mass Effect, I didn't mean to. Uh, There's nothing wrong with bringing up Mass Effect. There's nothing wrong with bringing unless up Unless it's Mass Effect 3 ending. ending. Anyways, oh. it's great. Uh, I like it, and I would definitely buy a pair. But I like actually looking at the Shut up. looking at these nope, pictures. You're done. It's a summary, you're bitch. You're done. The good side of it, it's definitely uh, a step up from what we're used to. It's it's like it's uh, as I used earlier. It's a paradigm shift. There hasn't been anything like this before. Just as the tablet was to the laptop, and the laptop was to the computer, and the computer was to the fuck all the rock, I guess. This is the next step <laughs> forward. <laughs> We can, uh, I saw in the video, I remember, he looked up in the sky, and he, he knew the weather. Yeah. And that was, yeah. that, that blew me away. Just that he knew the weather, he knew the time of day, he knew the forecast, he knew the temperature. It was very impressive, and there's definitely a lot of cool applications that can come with this. He, uh, he didn't even have to go into the subway and get mugged and raped by a homeless man, because I told him it was already broken down. So it just gave him a fancy little GPS, and he was able to walk on his way. The bad side of this, I still feel that we're definitely going to become way too dependent on technology. The fact that he couldn't ask anybody in the store where where the books were, the lack of interaction, it seems scary to me. Overall, can't decide whether I really like them or not. I, I definitely like the idea of them, but the implications scare the shit out of me. Calum's looking at funny gifts. I think he's tapped out. <laughs> so I'm, anyway, I'm still th- here. <laughs> that was the long and short of it. My name is Brian. I'm Matt. I am Callum. And thank you for listening to our incredibly long debate. If you like it, press the thumb up button. Give us a like and put this add to this to your favorites. And if you want to, subscribe. Subscribe.